Refraction happens when a wave travels from one medium into another. For example, I can have a thick rope tied to a thin rope. Refraction would happen when a wave travels from the thick rope into the thin one. Do you remember this equation? The speed of a wave equals to the frequency times the wavelength. By the way, this is probably the most important equation in the waves and sound unit. When a wave refracts, one of these three things, speed, frequency, and wavelength, does not change. Which one does not change? Remember that the speed of a wave mainly depends on the medium. So when a wave travels from one medium into a different one, its speed changes. The one that does not change is the frequency. The frequency is the one that stays the same. In this case, the wave source decides the frequency. If I make five waves a second over here, I certainly cannot get six waves to come out the other side a second. I cannot get four waves coming out every second either. Otherwise, I would get one extra wave accumulated here every second. I will have to get exactly five waves a second to come out on the other side. So the frequency is the one that stays the same. This means the wavelength will have to change according to the speed. If the wave slows down, the wavelength has to get shorter. If the wave speeds up, the wavelength gets longer. For example, we can create a wave on the thick rope side. When the wave reaches the end of this rope, three things can happen to the wave. Part of the wave can get reflected, part of the wave can get refracted and go through to the thin rope side, and the part of the wave's energy can be absorbed at the interface. So if I draw the refracted wave, it should have less energy. And what does less energy mean for a wave? Less energy usually means a smaller amplitude, but in this case, it involves two different kinds of ropes. The two ropes are kind of like two springs with different spring constants, k. So I suppose it is possible that the amplitude does not get smaller. However, I'm just going to make the amplitude smaller. Oh, but what about the length of the wave? The length of the wave should change according to the speed. Do you think the wave will speed up or slow down as it enters a thinner, lighter rope? Do you think the wave should get longer or shorter? The speed of a transverse wave on a string is the square root of tension divided by mass per unit length. For the two ropes connected like this, the tension is the same because they should be pulling on each other with equal and opposite action and reaction forces. So the tension is the same for the two. And for the thinner, lighter rope, the mass per unit length is smaller. That means the wave speed must be faster. And if the speed increases, that means the wave length should get longer. So the refracted wave will look like this. What about the reflected wave? What do you think the reflected wave should look like? Only part of the energy gets reflected, so the amplitude must be smaller. Another thing to consider is whether the reflected hump will switch side or not. Do you think the reflected hump will be up here or down there? Since the wave is reflected off a faster medium, I mean a medium in which the wave speed is faster, it is like being reflected off a free end. Therefore, the upward hump stays upward. So the reflected wave looks like this. Let's try another one. Suppose the original wave is produced on the right side in the thinner, lighter rope, and the wave has a large upward hump plus a small downward hump. See if you can draw the refracted wave and the reflected wave.
the wave speed is slower in the heavier rope. For refraction, because frequency stays the same, the slower speed means the shorter wavelength. So the refracted wave is shorter and has less energy. The reflected wave also has less energy and therefore smaller amplitudes. Because the wave is reflected off a slower medium, I mean a medium in which the wave speed is slower, it is like the wave is reflected off a fixed end. Therefore, the large upward hump becomes a downward one, the smaller downward hump becomes an upward one, and since the large hump used to be in the front, it is still in the front after reflection. You can see a couple of very nice St. Mary's University demonstrations using two different size wave machines. Please follow the links at my website.